I wasn't a hundred percent sure whether to do a separate video on these two items or not so I took to good old Instagram and asked on there and um, a lot of you guys wanted me to do a video on these two things and they're two new palettes that were re released by NARS um, the narcissist type of a line this first one is the um, blush contour and lip palette and this is what the box looks like I purchased this off of Sephora and it said VIB Rouge when I bought it so I'm sure it's coming everywhere and then the other palette is the new NARS dual intensity dual intensity eyeshadow palette um right here and I purchased this one off NARS website and their shipping is forever slow <laughs> it took literally like two weeks to get here um but I've seen it on I believe Saks and one other high-end department store but I've heard Sephora is also going to be getting this particular palette now before I get ahead of myself <laughs> I did do um, a demo with the products on my face and on my eyes. So I've got the dual intensity palette on my eyes and then the um, face case on my face. <laughs> and then with the, in addition to the, the dual intensity eyeshadow palette, um, I have got singles. So I have every shade in the line with the new edition of the palette. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch every shade of dual intensity eyeshadow because why not? <laughs> It'll be more helpful for you guys. This first little set here, it's a little... Um, like like a face case, kind of like an Urban Decay face case style um, palette. And it's got the mirrored front on there. And then inside you have got a mini NARS lip gloss and three blushes. And then underneath is the NARS Albatross and NARS Laguna um, bronzer. And then the amount of product in each is, each blush in here is 0.1 ounce, which is, I mean, for the size of this, that's a pretty nice amount of blush. And then the Albatross is 0.12 ounces, which is also a nice size. And the Laguna is 0.15 ounces. So um, as small as this looks, there is a decent amount of product in here. So let me tell you what shades are in here. For blush, Enraptured blush, Enthralled blush, and Roman Holiday, which I don't own any of these blushes. I was really tempted over the holidays to buy. They said they had a little um, gift set type of thing with the Roman Holiday blush in there, and I really wanted that, but I... I passed. <laughs> so um, I was happy that this was in there and that is um, the blush that I have on my cheeks. And then I use this shade right here, the Enrapture blush, because it is kind of a dark um, blush. I use that in the very, very backs after I blended out the Laguna bronzer um, to do some contouring. And it worked pretty good on, on my fair skin tone for that. And then underneath um, is the Albatross here, which is actually um, a full-size albatross is 0.16 ounces and this one's 0.12 so it's almost like a full-size albatross you're getting in there and I do have that on the tops of my cheeks um, I like albatross it's it's light enough for me but there isn't enough kind of opaque light um, pigment in it to um, for this right here in this area where I'd like a little bit more um, opaqueness to it uh, and it's pretty gold on my skin tone I do like it but it's not one that I reach for all the time and then Laguna is just a uh, good old Laguna so um, I had a couple questions on how that this palette compared to the um, holiday palette from NARS that came out which is the uh, it's called the virtual domination cheek palette and they're the only duplicate products between this holiday palette here and this little face case is the Laguna bronzer. So the blushes and the highlight are all different. And um, again, there's a nice amount of product in here as well. And then this one has the lip gloss and it is in the shade uh, Istria, I-S-T-R-I-A, which is on my lips right now. And I'm going to go ahead and get up close and swatch these for you guys now. So here is Istria lip gloss. And these, I'm assuming this is the newer you know, the newer uh, reformulated NARS lip glosses, and these feel really nice. This is, I, I, I don't have any um, from the newer reformulation, but they're not sticky, they don't have a scent, um, and they feel nice on the lips. So for a non-lip lip gloss wearing gal, I, I think that these are pretty nice. Now here are the blushes in the palette. The only one that has some like gold sparkles in it is this center one right here called Enthralled. Um, these two here appear to be quite matte. Um, when I picked them up, uh, this went on nice, it blended nice, it had really nice pigmentation. And then this one here also had really good pigmentation, um, but it, it kicked up a bit of powder in there. I'll give you some swatches here. This middle blush is stiff, just from me swatching it. It's kind of hard, getting hard on top of it. So I'm not sure, it's the only one I didn't use, so I don't know how well that's gonna perform. So there they are on my fingers. And this is the one I used to contour, so you can see on my skin tone, it's, it's a pretty deep type of a color. So there are the three shades. I like the Roman Holiday color though. Roman Holiday, 
Roman Holiday Enthralled Blush, and then this one here is the um, Enrapture Blush, right there. Then I'll go ahead and swatch um, Albatross and uh, Laguna for you guys too. Which I feel like, because um, I do have these two products in a full size, and I feel like they performed as uh, their full size counterparts do. So there's Albatross and Laguna and the blushes. Now let's get into this Narcissus Dual Intensity Eyeshadow Palette. Um, the casing is plastic and mirrored, collects fingerprints just like about everything else. <laughs> the shadows in here are one gram a piece and then the shadows that are in the uh, permanent range, the full size ones, are one and a half grams of product. So these are approximately two thirds the size of the full size shadows which as a palette as a whole it was like I think this was $79 um, and a full size shadow is $29. This is a really good bang for your buck and they perform just like the full size eyeshadows. So if you're interested in the shadows by any means and you don't have any yet or you want to try them this is a great route to go and it does come with a synthetic um, eyeshadow brush in there. NARS eyeshadow brush. I just used the shadow brushes that I like to use but it is a good quality brush and it, since it is synthetic it's a good one to use wet as well. I particularly haven't used these wet just because I use a, a more tacky um, hydrating primer anyway so it takes on metallicness from that quite a bit and I, I typically like to use my eyeshadows dry anyway but if you really wanted to intensify them you can go ahead and get them wet and get extra intensity out of them. I like them dry just the way that they are. I think they perform great. The fallout is minimal. They blend amazing. They're really good quality eyeshadow. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and swatch all the shades in this palette and, and read them off to you guys. Um, and then I'm going to swatch the other ones as well so that you guys can see a full swatch of every color in the entire range. So hopefully it'll be helpful for you guys. <laughs> So here are the shadows up close. They're showing up very true in the viewfinder. I'll go ahead and read them off for you guys. We have got uh, Europa over here. And then this one right here is called uh, Himalaya. And then this one here is exclusive to this palette and it, and it is called Ursa Major. And then you have got Subra. And then here is um, Andromeda. And then you've got Lysithia, Geove, and Sycorax right there So those are the shades some of them are, are more like this black here is more like of a, a satin shine It's not like super super metallic um, Some of them are really metallic some of them are just kind of have a shine to them um, But they're all really pretty and they all perform really well. So let me go ahead and swatch them Let's just turn it this way and give you guys some swatches Right there and these are dry. Look at how pretty they look dry. Those are dry swatches. They're so pretty. Then I'll do this other row here. This one's pretty pinky skin tone, so I don't know how well it's going to show up. Aren't those beautiful? Let me read them off to you here. This is Andromeda, Lysithia, Geove, and Sycorax. And then right here you have got uh, Europa, Himalaya, Ursa Major, and Subra right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and swatch the singles that I have because then that way you guys will be able to see all uh, swatches from all of the shades in the entire range and hopefully that'll be helpful for you guys. So um, this first one is um, Dione or Dione and I just got this one last week and it's so so beautiful because this, this was the only one that I didn't have after I had purchased the palette and it it's a beauty. It is gorgeous. So that is um oh that's Dione or Dione right there. This next one here is Cassiopeia and it's it looks white in the viewfinder but hopefully you can see that it's got a really pretty purple pink uh, duochrome to it. It's a really pretty color there. So you can kind of see the purple in it right there. So that is uh, Cassiopeia. And then here is Callisto, another... Uh, 
I'm going to say that a lot. Probably all of them. So beautiful. <laughs> so this one here is Callisto. This one here is uh, Desdemona. And then the last one in the range, with the best name in my opinion, <laughs> is uh, Phoebe. Oh, so much pretty going on there. So those are the swatches from the rest of the range. So let me read them off to you guys. This one is um, Dione or Dione, Cassiopeia, Callisto, uh, Desdemona, and then Phoebe. But, ugh, beauty, beauty, beauty. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, these singles are pretty expensive. Like when I first bought them, um, of course I thought they were beautiful and all that, but I thought, jeez, <laughs> that's expensive for a single eyeshadow. But um, I think they're worth it. I think they're worth the money. But the palette, especially if, if you want to try some of these or something, the palette is a good um, bang for your buck for sure. And they perform amazing. So um, anyway, so if you're interested in seeing those products perform and the look that's on my face, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. I'm going to go ahead and dip into Albatross here with a Chikahoto highlighter brush and just highlight um, the points on my face, which I like to highlight. Um, this is a really gold highlighter on me, but it still stays light, so I guess I don't mind it as much, but you can see it's really gold. And it doesn't have like a ton of um, pigment, like um, uh, opaque pigment, so it's kind of just like a gold. Anyway, I'm just going to put some there. Right here, there, and right there. And it appears to be just like good old elf dross. Now I'm going to go into Laguna and I'm going to slightly um, contour and bronze up my face or warm up my face with that on a Goss number 13 brush. And I'm going to start back here and start buffing and then pull it forward. And then put a little bit on my forehead. And a bit on my jawline. Then I'm going to take this Eco Tools brush. This is a new um, angled one that came out. I found it at the Walmart. So uh, this is what I use to uh, push powder into my face with my BB cream. And I'm just going to use that to um, buff. Buff in the bronzer a bit more. Then on a Chikohoto cheek brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here from the palette. It's called uh, Roman Holiday. And I'm just going to pick up a bit of that on the tip here and give it a tap. And then I'm going to put it on the cheeks. And then just for the sake of, I'm going to pick up a, a tiny bit of Enrapture blush on a Chikohoto contour brush. Just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to put this in the back here because it is, oh yeah, it is stronger than um, Laguna's. Just to do a little bit of contouring. So I've already primed my eyes from the lash line to up underneath the brow with the RMS Uncover Up Concealer, which kind of has some more emollient hydrating properties already. So it's going to kind of pull the metallic shades in this even more metallic because I, I typically like to use shadows. Um, dry. So on a Goss number 18 brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here called Himalaya. I'm going to pack that on the center of the lid. And then using that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade Europa. And I'm just going to use the side of that Goss 18, which I dusted it off on the towel. But I'm going to put that right in front of the Himalaya right here and then turn it sideways and then give it a blend and then on a little uh, Chikahoto eyeshadow brush I'm going to go into the limited edition shade called Ursa Major and I'm going to pick up that guy on my brush I'm going to put it on the outer portion of my lid and then I'm going to bring it through the crease as well 
I'm going to pull this out here. I picked this little brush so that I can be a little bit more specific on this outer portion here. Um, but I'll go get a fluffier one in a minute. I'm going to go in with the Chikahoto GSN 9 um, in that same Ursa Major color and then I'm going to bring that through the crease a little bit more. I just wanted to get that precise on the outside because I'm not a tape fan <laughs> or a concealer cleanup fan. <laughs> I'm just going to put this through here and it's almost got like a tiny bit of a purple undertone to it, that shade. And it's kind of satin. It's not as metallic as some of them, but the quality of these is just superb. I just remembered something. <laughs> um, I used this GSN 9 brush yesterday with really bright Vizart purple shadow. That's why Ursa Major is looking a little purple. Hopefully you'll be able to see at the beginning of the video a true swatch. <laughs> but it's looking a little purple. I should have grabbed a clean brush. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Now I'm going to go into uh, Andromeda right here on a GSN 7 brush and I'm going to lay this down underneath my brow where I haven't put down shadow yet, the whole area, so that I can fade up that Ursa Major color up into it and it will, um, the Ursa Major color won't be as dark. It'll just, it'll blend into a lighter pinker Ursa Major color. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. I'm just going to put that Andromeda down in this whole area. Actually, let's go into Subra instead on a Goss number 19 brush and pick that up and fade that up into the highlight. And since we're a little purple through the crease anyway, <laughs> and just uh, give this a blend. That worked out alright. And then I'm going to go back in with the GSN 7. I'm not going to pick up any more product, but I'm going to blend this even further. There isn't any fallout on my face, which is awesome. I do always tap my brush off by nature, but still, pretty good. Um, I'm going to intensify that lid shade just a bit. Um, the It is called, uh, what's it called? Ursa Himalaya. <laughs> the Himalaya shade on that Goss 18. Just intensify this a bit more. That ought to get it for the shadow. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips, I was originally going to use the uh, NARS El Agua Velvet Pencil, but since that's like um, out of stock for days, <laughs> I decided to go in with the Clinique Sky Violet Lip Liner. And I'm just going to fill in my lips and I'm going to bring it inwards as well. And then I'm going to use the little gloss that came in the Narcissist uh, little face case here. And it's in the shade Istria. Istria? I-S-T-R-I-A. It's like a light pink color. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over uh, my lips here. I think that combo is pretty good. The gloss feels nice. It's not sticky. So there is the overall finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.